Good evening. Crude oil markets plunged overnight over continuing concerns of the coronavirus. It caused one of the biggest stock market drops in years. The price per barrel drop will have a direct effect on New Mexico's budget. With the state's booming oil industry having big questions, it caused the governor to make vetoes. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at a gas station on Lomas and 12th with the story. Rebecca. Well, Dean and Jess, the oil plunge is clearly having a significant effect on gas prices, which is great for the consumer, but it's bad for the oil industry. As the state's budget relies heavily on that income, legislatures on both sides of the aisle are urging the governor to make vetoes and fast. It's been a chaotic day. The stock market plunged 7% after two oil producing nations began a dispute. I don't think we've ever hit a circuit breaker. I don't really actually, re in my memory, no. And as the concern over coronavirus grows, it's causing a ripple effect for New Mexico's oil industry. So as people make decisions to, um, to reduce travel, as airlines cancel flights, as people work from home instead of traveling to work, um, our industry is impacted. Ryan Flynn, the executive director for the New Mexico Oil and Gas Association, says oil prices have dropped $26 a barrel, which the state was relying on for its budget. When you see people using um, less of your product, then you will adjust your production to respond to that. As a result, the state budget is in jeopardy. 39% of that budget relies on the oil and gas industry, causing a concern among lawmakers. We were on the floor saying this is not sustainable. We are going to implode in the future. And I honestly thought it would be in the distant future. But it, today, when I saw the crash in the oil and gas, um, I, I'm really worried. State Representative Jason Harper isn't alone. His constituents on the other side of the aisle are concerned too. In the event we don't have stability, then we're going to have to look at, at other uh, issues uh, in the budget on the reoccurring side. Now, representatives from across the state have asked the governor to look at the budget and make vetoes to compensate for the money that won't be coming in. But honestly, a lot of those options are not very great because it's uh, you, you can't just reduce a funding level, you have to line item the entire amount. And the governor's office released a statement in part saying that they are monitoring the situation closely, say that the governor will be using her veto power to cut some spending. And just minutes ago, she announced she's vetoing $50 million in local road projects. Dean and Jess, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. The governor has now until Wednesday to sign off on the budget. Her office says if she were to sign the bill as is, there would be close to $110 million in the operating reserve account.